Hey guys, Looney here, and welcome back to episode th 4. Episode 4. Alright, now I know this episode I said that I was going to do history and bookmarks. I can't actually find a correct bookmark coding, so I'm going just to do um, um, history. So, what we want to do is, uh, well, history and the full screen thing, because I thought I might as well do that now. Now, what you want to do is you want to come to your projects and your properties. Now, you want to come to settings, you want to add history. You want to make sure it's system dot collections dot specialized dot string collection. Make sure the scope is user, and press this ellipses and click OK. Now, if it generates a code, it generates a code. If it doesn't, it doesn't. It doesn't really matter. So then you want to click off it, and you want to go over to settings. Now, the first one we want to do, sorry, is we actually want to go ahead and go over to tab, double click the background of the web browser and we want to try and find navigate complete if you don't know how you can press ctrl and f and then you can type navigate complete 2 and find next and it will come up it will highlight what it's found and at the bottom of this you want to add if not my dot settings dot history dot contains AX web browser one dot location URL dot two string then so you want to add a end bracket here uh, then um, contains uh, my dot settings dot history dot add then AX browser one dot location URL dot two string and you want to add an end if if it hasn't done so already now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and go over to our settings now we want to remove the minimum size sorry the maximum size that's what we need to do okay I'm going to have to retype this in 2 or 1 delete the maximum now you could actually just add a tab control and you could add the history like that but I'm going to do it this way because it's a tutorial, it doesn't really matter how it looks. Uh, so I'm going to have this here, have that there, and I'm going to call this group box history, of course. So history. So inside this, we want to get a list, a uh, list box, I think. That's what it is. I don't think it's a list. Okay guys, so my list box wasn't actually showing up, so I had to go ahead and add it in again. Um, if yours isn't showing up, then... Well, I, I, I can't see it, so I don't know if it's actually showing up. If you don't know, then choose items, uh, wait for this to load, and scroll down to list box, and you want to untick it, and then check it again. Um, anyway, um, moving on, we want this to be around this size, and we're going to add a button at the bottom where it says clear history. I want to make this at the bottom, and we're going to name it Clear History. Oh, clear. There you go. So then uh, we're going to go to settings right here, and we're uh, we're going to add in the following. If not my dot settings dot history dot count equals zero then dim i hist as integer do until list box one dot items dot count equals my dot settings dot history dot count then we're going to add list box one dot items dot add and then my dot settings dot history dot uh, sorry uh, bracket i hist and then end bracket and then another one and then you want to put i hist plus uh, plus equals one and it should go that now we want to go ahead and make sure that the loops in here 
Now one thing that we want to do is we want to go to tab and we want to click on this. This is just an extra thing. And we want to go over to here and where it says auto uh, no, no, where is it? Where is it? Auto complete. You want to put suggest and then all URL. This this just then suggests like sites like you could type in www.g and then it will come up with Google. Um. So anyway, for the clear history, you want to come over to our settings. Double click hit clear history and you want to put my dot settings dot history dot clear. Uh, clear list box one dot items dot clear sorry clear not count uh, then you want to put message box well you can put message box and I'm going to put history is cleared and what I'm going to do is I'm going to press save and then I'm going to press the debug uh, wait for this form to load it hasn't actually loaded yet um hey guys so i know what was wrong uh, you have you have to type history in the string collection editor and click ok and then it will generate this code for you so once it generates that code you should be fine to go uh, as you can see my web browser is loaded up now if i open up the settings right here i have my google the thing that is just located to now if i keep this up and go to youtube okay sorry i can't keep it up because i coded it to where it can't be kept up now if I click on settings, uh, it's brought up and it's now at YouTube right here. So guys, that is how you can do uh, the history. Sorry it took so long. And there's one, th actually, no, there's one thing that I want to add. Now uh, I want to add where you clear a certain part of your history. Because not everyone wants to clear a, um, not everyone wants to c always clear their entire history. So, um... I'm going to add a button and we're going to call it delete selected. I'm going to put list box um we're going to put try and then if list box one dot selected uh get selected oh we're not we're going to put list box one dot selected item I don't know how I'm going to put that um selected item you know, you just want to put list box one dot selected item. Don't put if um, dot selected item. Um, um, what is it? What is it? What is it? No, nope, okay. I was going to put this around the wrong way. You want to put my dot settings dot history dot remove. You want to put list box one dot selected. Item. I was going to put list box one dot selected item and then in brackets my dot settings if um so yeah you want to put that and the reason why we're going to put a try statement is because if it's not going to work it's not going to work and either it crashes your um it crashes your browser then nothing. So as you can see we've got Google and if I left click it and delete the selected okay it didn't delete it. Hmm. Alright guys, I right. hey guys, I found out the error I forgot to put list box one dot items removed. That's still coding that I was trying to find. Um and then I had to add in the list box one thing. So my browser's up, I've navigated to YouTube and then go into add up my settings. Uh open my settings and where you see this Google thing, it's gone. And so is YouTube. So now if I go back into settings you're going to realise that nothing's there. But as soon as you click on the browser and then click on settings, again, nothing's there. That's because it hasn't navigated. But if you refreshed it, uh, the page has just refreshed settings. It's here. And yeah, guys, so that's how simple it is. Um, that is how simple it is, I guess. So the next thing I'm going to... So guys, I've already shown you the um, full screen thing. And I've also shown you the history. And that's what I was going to do for this episode. Uh, I can't find any bookmarks that actually work, so I'm sorry about that. Uh, if I find one though, I will do a tutorial on it. And if I have found one, it will be in the description.
so always check the description and if it's not there then i haven't found one but if you found one uh message me oh sorry inbox me or pm me or whatever it is now and uh, let me know so i can make sure that i can make a video on it so guys i hope you enjoyed the video if you have please raise it really does help me out and um obviously if you look at this time it won't be anywhere near that because i haven't actually stopped this while well, he's trying to figure out coding um anyway guys i hope you enjoyed the video if you have please raise it really does help me out and i hope to see you next time